Well, it's a creek I came across here the other day. I didn't have a gold pan with me, so I didn't have a chance to test it out. But this is an in, inside bend. Um, pretty much where all the heavy material is dropping out at. So we're going to do some test sampling. Looks pretty good. A lot of quartz. Mostly quartz, actually. Got really good current and water flow coming down through here. There's actually a sandbar on the back side of these trees here. It looks like when it floods out, everything goes up in there and it's pretty much dry. If there's anything here, it could possibly be back up in there too, some flood gold. I'm going to do some testing and figure out what's going on here. As you can see, it's, it's, this is loaded with cobbles and quartz, mostly quartz. This tree must have blew down in the windstorm. It's uprooted. That'd be a nice hole to dig under. And it's right here on the back side of this bend. Really nice creek here, actually. Go down. So, uh, I guess it'd be the northern part of Maryland, just outside of Congo Wingo. Looks really, really good in here. I like it. Probably be just some flower. Never been here before, never knew about this creek. Um, just drove past it. I'm like, hey, that looks like some good area down in there. So, come to check it out. I really like it. It looks awesome. The big bench back there. It's going to take some time to do some prospecting on this creek. It's a pretty nice sized creek. It flows down into the Susquehanna River. We got here at the creek that we were prospecting last weekend. Uh, got a lot of rain overnight. It's pretty much almost overflowing. I said I was going four wheel and that's what I had to go down across. Just to even get down and back in there to the creek. This here's the other side. This water is ripping through here right now. Here's where I had the truck parked. And I was gonna cut these logs out so I can just back in there next time. Down in there where that tree's at is right where we were digging. And that's where we were finding our flower gold last Saturday. But as you can see, the creek comes way up here, all the way to the bank. And this was that whole gravel bar right in here. And about three feet on the side of this little tree there is where we were digging. So, it's actually a good thing I come out here with, during flood stage. But actually, we only got probably about an inch or two of rain last night, so this ain't even really flooding yet. It's just high water. But it's really nice, you can kind of see where your slow areas are, your slow pools. So I'm thinking my goal line is right off the tip of that tree, right down across there, where at least the good gold is gonna be. I think I'm actually gonna hike up the creek and see with the rest of it looks like, maybe we'll find some other good spots.
these logs here are gonna have to wait until next time. I bought the chainsaw down here, cut a couple couple limbs out of the way. There ain't much I can do with this right now. It's a little further up the creek here. This back here is just actually just a wash area. It's usually dry. As you can see, I'll zoom in here. These piles, you can actually see the black sand up on the edge of them there. It's just filled with black sand. Right there on the back side of that log, it's like real black. Real slow pool in here. Off that point over there. It's probably about three feet deep in normal current. But it's rushing in there right now, so that's probably a good, real good place to put a dredge in. It's just ripping through here. Thursday, I'll probably be back out here. Tr clear some more trail back in here and probably do some dredging. And definitely all day next Saturday. Got a little piece of bedrock. Not a lot of cracks and crevices in that. Not sure how big it is. Kind of feel like beaches in Nome, Alaska with the black sand that's in this place. It's just ridiculous.